If an accident or illness prevents you from working, how long would you be able to cover your day to day expenses before you started feeling a financial pinch? May is Disability Insurance Awareness Month, and today we're going to learn what steps you can take to protect your loved ones and yourself. Joining me now is Matt Paulson, a senior financial planner at Barnum Financial Group, who co founded and leads Barnum's planning division for physicians and medical professionals. Quite a title there, Matt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being here. Um, First off, Barnum Financial Group was named MetLife's number one firm for 2012. Big honor. What exactly does it mean? We were. It's a tremendous honor. We're very excited. Uh, it very much speaks to the integrity of the firm, um, you know, the client centricity that mm -hmm. we focus on day in and day out, and also the leadership of our managing director, Paul Blanco, uh, and how he has helped to grow this firm into the largest financial planning organization here in the Northeast. Why don't you give us an overview of uh, Barnum Financial, please? Um, Barnum Financial is a holistic financial planning agency. We focus on everything from investment management to retirement planning to tax planning to estate planning and of course the protection planning that we're going to talk about today. Yes, so most people know they need health insurance, car insurance, that sure. type of thing, but maybe disability insurance isn't as popular, but we have a whole month dedicated to it. So obviously sure. it's pretty important. There is a whole month uh, dedicated to it. May is Disability Insurance Awareness Month. Okay. Uh, and it's something that is often not talked about. Um, we talk about those very exciting topics I just mentioned in uh, investment planning, retirement planning, tax planning, so on and so forth. But insurance planning is important because you need to build a wall around all of those great things that you're doing so that in the event of an unexpected accident or illness, mm -hmm. all of that planning doesn't go out the window. Well, let's get into how it works exactly. Sure. It kind of protects your paycheck in a way? In a way, uh, disability insurance is designed to more or less recreate that income coming into the household if you couldn't work because of a disabling illness or injury. And it can be picked up through an employer in some instances, or sometimes you need to pick it up on your own in the form of an individual plan. So some reasons people m might say that they don't need disability mm -hmm. insurance is that they have savings that they could rely on. Sure. Uh, sometimes, right? You might run Some, out though too. Sometimes there is savings. Um, statistically speaking, according to the Life Foundation, uh, we as Americans have a 30% chance of being forced out of the work, you know, workplace at some point during our career because of a long-term illness or injury. Um, that lasting more than three months. And so the question then is, do you have the savings on hand to get through a situation like that? And frequently we find the answer is no. Okay, and uh, what if someone says, you know, I really just don't work in a dangerous environment? Sure. Um, I guess to throw another statistic out there, 10% uh, of uh, injuries or, or disabilities are caused within the workforce. Uh, the other 90% of illnesses or injuries occur outside of the workforce. Oh, wow. So the reality of it is, most of the time, it, it doesn't occur there anyway. Um, and then some people might say uh, the government provides disability insurance. Right. Probably not enough? Sure. There's Social Security disability that you can apply for. 45% uh, of initial claims are denied through, the dis through uh, Social Security. So it is difficult to get, and your disability has to be lasting and considered permanent in order to qualify for that. And then the benefits are relatively small that you get through Social Security Administration as well. And then what if someone says, I just I have it at work. I don't need it. Um, Good Same point. idea, that's, probably, right? Yeah, that's uh, certainly that's good, and that's a first step is to identify what you have at work and how much you're covered for. But the big difference between individual coverage and group coverage is the fact that group coverage, if it's paid for by your employer, is then a taxable benefit to you if you were to get it down the road. Oh. Individual coverage is tax free. All right. So we're getting the disability insurance. You have a checklist. Sure. A couple of things we should think sure. of before we move forward with it. You say establish your foundation if you're getting started with income protection. Right. What does that mean? Exactly. Understand <laughs> what your budget looks like okay. on a monthly basis. Sort of what's coming in the household in terms of income, what's going out in terms of expenses, and understand what it would look like if you didn't have your income coming in or if you're married if only half of the income was coming into the family how would that affect you sure and you also say life insurance plays a factor it certainly does um, mm -hmm. that's another form of protection planning another form of insurance obviously designed to cover you for something much different uh, but you should also take a look at what you have for life insurance as well um, and let's talk about the Barnum Financial Group services when it comes sure. to disability insurance mm -hmm. um, we are fully licensed and we're in uh, more or less an independent agency of MetLife we have the ability to offer programs through so many of the large insurers out there. Obviously, it's not just MetLife. Um, you know, with that being said, we teach 
uh, what we call our corporate education programs or our retirewise programs in many of the large companies in the area. And part of that retirement planning is addressing disability insurance. Sure. Well, great information, Matt. Thank you for it. Let's put some Thanks. information up on the screen to contact Barnum Financial Group. You can call 203-513-6000 or visit barnumfinancialgroup.com. A lot of good tips there, Matt. Thanks. All right. Up next, Executive Chef Suzanne, Susanna Tolini shows us how to build kebabs with alfresco all-natural chicken sausage when style returns. We'll be right back.